all right yo what is up ladies and gentlemen hf i'm back with another video for you guys yes i'm using the geforce experience recording method uh, instead of my usual method which is just using obs and have all sexy quality sounds and, and overlays and stuff so yeah i may sound eh, like crappy quality even though this is a studio microphone and very expensive but still it may sound crap because I'm using GeForce Experience, aka Shadowplay, back in the day. Uh, so, yeah, besides that, I may or may not edit this video. So it can be I don't know, 30, 20 minutes video, maybe longer, maybe a little bit less. Or I can go ahead and edit it, depending on my mood. This is my fifth or fourth time I'm recording this. And I have to use the GeForce Experience because if I use OBS or any other software to record my sexy voice on high quality uh, whenever I launch a game and, and recording or not recording at all, it doesn't really matter. If I'm launching a game, uh, my microphone levels just goes uh, beyond 100%. So like it's like very loud and pitchy and, and no, I don't like that. So that's why I'm using this. Anyway, besides that, as you can tell by the title, I'm, I'll be showing you on how to port any other Call of Duty map over to Black Ops 3 mod tools. Now, yes, it works on a lot of Call of Duty games, but I'm not 100% sure if it works on Black Ops 4, Modern Warfare 2019 or 2020 edition, and Black Ops Cold War and, and Modern Warfare 2 campaign remastered. I'm not sure if those work. However, anything below should work just fine. So... I have not tested it on, um, where is it, World War II, but it should work on World War II. So uh, this will work on multiplayer maps, campaign maps, zombies maps, any, any, any maps. So just to clarify that. And I also have a few already. If I go over to my uh, maps, I have some multiplayer maps, hijacked and raid. And I have some zombies map, Ascension, Call of the Dead, Dries. Now, Dal Rise is empty. I have five, Kyoto-Toten, Moon, Nocturne-Toten, Nukta Zombies, Shangri-La, Shinonuma, Transit is empty, and Verrucked. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do Transit, Dal Rise, and Nuketown's already. Yeah, okay, we just have to put these over to Black Ops 3 models. So, we're going to use the whole map as a single... Uh, X model and then drag and drop those into our map in Black Ops 3 mod tools or Radiant and you can use it as a template or you can go ahead and export or create those materials and just add some clip over the model itself. More about that later. So what we're going to do is let's go ahead and demonstrate you on how to port everything. Links will be provided down in the description box below. You will need Autodesk Maya, any version uh, from 2012 and above. So if you have 2016, 18, 19, 20, 21, I don't really care. It should work. I will not be providing a link for this. You can go ahead and search and maybe get a crack version, maybe. I don't know. That's all up to you. Okay. Uh, or you can get a student license or 30 days trial, which should be good perfect now if there's a map that you want contact me and i will get uh, uh you know i will see what i can do okay so we need maya we need a plugin for maya which is call of duty my yeah call of duty maya tools that i will link leave a link in the description box below and we need this tool if you go into our documents mapping yeah there we go husky we need husky okay now with that all in the descriptions, go ahead and download it, install it, and launch your game that you want to export. So I'm going to go into Black Ops 2 Zombies. And um, yeah, so now that the game has been launched, we're going to go into, come on, online. Come on, baby. So we have to wait a little bit. There we go. Now you can do solo, custom, I'm just going to do custom. I am going to start off with transit. So it doesn't really matter if you do transit or survival or town. It's the, the whole map is already in there. It's just that 
um, you're, it's not the whole map is not accessible. So um, for Black Ops 2, what I do is keep it on original so that the, um, uh, the model spawns in as well. Uh, you can do it on easy. It, it's all up to you. So let me get a sip of my cup of coffee. Now, like I said earlier, though, I may or may not edit this video. So make sure you sit back and follow my steps. And um, this is the way uh, I create remastered version of maps or I'm pretty sure that people do that as well. So the whole point of this is, for example, if I export transit, you can get the walls, ceiling, the ground, the floor, the walls and doors and, and everything, especially the perks and any other model, you can get those exact coordinates so you know exactly where to place them. Now, I think I am, the game is a bit loud or not at all. Cool. Okay, so once the game has been launched hit escape so you pause the game um actually what we also can do is go to settings and play this in a window mode um windowed full screen there we go windowed apply yes there we go now you should be able to see this uh go ahead and double click don't uh, right click and run as admin just double click on husky okay now if you get an error go ahead and run it as an admin and then hit this little plane, export the loaded GFX map. Now click on that, and it's gonna say converting to OBJ, wait a couple of seconds, and it's gonna say convert it, come on, come on. Come on, boy. There we go, convert it to OBJ in 10.23 seconds. This means, hey, we're good to go. So we can minimize this, go to exported maps, Black Ops 2, ZM, transit, and you will see transit map, MTL, OBJ, and search string. Now the text file, this is all for the uh, textures and materials. So what I do is I can, you can leave it there or you can delete it. Now, if you want the materials, go ahead and keep it. Then you can use a different one and search like Wraith and search for the exact name of the material or um, the color map or normal map. So. Uh, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to use this template. Okay. And then we go back. And make sure Husky is still running though. Um, we're going to go ahead and... You know what? Let's play it on full screen. Let's play it on... Yeah, look, there we go. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and end the game. Because we are done with transit. Now you do need the... Um, well, actually, I'm not 100% sure if you actually need the DLCs, but I prefer to get the DLCs. Just get them, you know, just get them. Uh, this way you do support the creators, developers, you know, and the main game. So now we're just going to switch maps and let's go ahead and do Nuketown next. Actually, Nuketown is already ported, so let's go to Die Rise. I don't have all DLCs, just my favorite ones. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start the match or game, whatever. Bad yeah, start match. Now we're just gonna wait until this one is loaded. Now, Die Rise is definitely one of my favorite maps of all time, dude. Like, I, I seriously love Die Rise. Okay. So what we're going to do is, again, I may sound like crappy quality, but just let's just try to deal with it. Um, what we're going to do is in Husky, export this one as well. So it's going to convert to OBJ file. Wait a little. There we go. Convert it to OBJ in 5.51 seconds. Now we can close it. Go to your CM and we have high rise and all the things again. You can delete the search string. Okay. And uh, I can name this or actually, you know what I like to do is go to here, model export, SG4Y maps, zombies maps, die rise and paste those in there. Now go back and 
to go to transit, cut those, and go into Black Ops 3, model exports, SG4Y, maps, zombies maps, and transit, and there. Okay, now we can go ahead and close our game. We will not need the game anymore. So we also don't need Steam for now. Okay, so now we have our maps, which is Transit. Uh, we have Nuketown Zombies and we have uh, Darais. Now what we're going to do is go ahead and open up Maya. Let that just load. Now, by the way, my microphone should be on normal volume now. I don't know why it does that. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now that we're in here, uh, we're now in Maya, what you want to do is simply go into your map, uh, let's do transit, get the OBJ file, drag that into your Maya scene, boom, drag and drop, let it load, and you will see, wow, transit is quite a big map though. Like clearly, wow. Okay, usually my map would uh, load, <laughs> but okay, let's, you know, just wait a bit. No problem. Any moment now. Oh, there we go, something's happening. Yeah. Okay, now if you zoom all the way out, you can't because there's this gray thing blocking my view. Easy fix for that is to go and click, left click on the perspective camera over here and then you might have it on this or or modeling toolkit whatever uh, switch to attribute editor and then click on uh, the perspective shape and then you see here far clip plane double click and then hit a couple of lines and hit enter there now you can zoom all the way out now what I have noticed from um, Black Ops 2 maps um, is that there is no skybox. So usually there is like a big black box covering the whole map. Uh, what you just simply, uh, what you just will do is just zoom out, click on it, and then delete it. But yeah, in this case there is none. So this is transit. I think this is town. Yeah, okay. This is town. This is definitely town. Look at that this is town and this is on the ground like uh fucking hell come on yep this is uh, uh the the pack a punch area that's pretty cool and then we can zoom out and what is this farm looks like farm yeah okay that is farm now what is that though so when, when, when you see those things go ahead and delete those especially when you want to use this as an actual map um okay i don't know what the fuck that is Go ahead and delete that. Okay. And this is bus station or I think so. Oh yeah, it is actually. Or not. Anyways, I'm not really one hundred percent sure. This is such a weird map layout, dude. Oh, this is Nocturne Tone, by the way. I see it now. This is Nocturne Tone. Okay, cool. Looks cool. I like that. So what I usually do is I select the first one, scroll all the way down, hold shift, and left click on the last one. That uh, makes it so everything is selected. Now, of course, if you see these things here, go ahead and delete those. Because you will not need those. Uh, okay, that is a big part of the map. 
I'll put this one. Hmm. Okay. And then, yeah, just do it again. Select the first or last one, go all the way up or down. Oh, shit. Yeah, okay. Left click. I mean, hold shift, left click, go to mesh here. Now, if you don't see combine, what you can do is switch over to rigging, switch back to modeling. You see? Mesh disappears and appears. So go to modeling, hit mesh, combine. And that will put all the models in one big group. And now you can do this on Blender as well by um, doing Shift A twice. So Shift A and then again A. So you're going to do one click on Shift, hold it and press twice on A. So everything's selected and they can do Control J to group it. But on Blender, it doesn't really work. In Maya, it does because in Maya, all the materials and stuff are going to be assigned to that one model that we are just creating. If that makes sense. Uh, in Blender, it doesn't. It just deletes all the materials. Well, it looks like I had that problem. And now I have freaking... Uh, uh, I just have... I just, I'm just going to use Maya. So I'm just going to wait until it's one big group. It takes a bit. Because, you know, the map is quite big. And this is how I prefer doing remaster maps. Because, um, you know, you will get it in. Uh, yeah, you will get it later, though. Okay, now we have one group. I mean, one model here selected. What I usually do is I'm going to go ahead and save scene as. And then go to desktop. Actually... Where is Steam Apps, Common, Black Ops 3, Model Export, SG4Y, Maps, Zombies Maps, Transit. I'm going to do SG4Y, Transit. And that one is saved. We're going to go into Call of Duty Tools. Uh, make sure if you go to Settings, Game Settings. We set it to Black Ops 3 and we're going to do export X model. Click on the three dots and I'm just going to do it in uh, over in uh, my desktop. Now you have two options here, X model or X model bin. So X model export and X model bin. If you do X model export, you have to convert it into X, X model bin. So this is mostly used for uh, Call of Duty 4 and World of War. X model bin is, you know, for Black Ops 3. Name it whatever you want. SG4Y Transit Map. Hit enter. Okay. And we're going to do export selected. Uh, save changes. No. Now for you, if you haven't saved your scene, it will say like, uh, hey, you haven't saved your scene. Would you like to continue without saving? Just hit yes. So if you click on no, it doesn't work. You don't see this uh, progress bar, hit yes. Now we're going to wait until that is done. And um, you know, while that's actually doing that, let me go ahead and open up Steam and launch Black Ops 3 models. And let it update as well. I'm going to put this on my second monitor. Actually, you can uh, you can look. Okay, there we go. We're gonna go ahead and launch Ape. And sometimes Ape is going is being a ping. Yeah, so click it a couple times. Usually, after three times clicking, it launches. So that was the second one. Sometimes three, sometimes four. Okay, three, four. Ah, you fucking bitch. Come on, five. Oh, there we go. You just have to be patient. So yeah, I did not turn tone earlier. Um, I'm going to demonstrate this with uh, transit and the diorizing or yeah, 
dark rise or high rise and nuke turn as well come on <clears throat> waiting for that to finish it's at 100% It's still at 100%. So while that's on 100%, what you want to do, oh, and it's done. So what you want to do now is get your uh, map or you know the X model bin, right click, cut or copy, whatever you want to do. And we are going to save this into uh, Black Ops 3 model exports and then your folders. Uh, if you place it somewhere else besides the Black Ops 3 folder, it will not open in Radiant and in Ape. It's going to give you an error. That's because you have to put it in Black Ops 3, Model Export, and then somewhere. It doesn't really matter where, as long as it's in Model Export folder. Okay. So, um, I thought that I also saved this thing, but apparently not. Okay, um, so I'm gonna try to do that again. File, save scene as. Huh, that's weird, but okay. Save as. MB, oh, it's over here. So it doesn't really do the thing I want it to do. Um, local C, program files. Oh wait, maybe it is in here. My, uh, maybe in bin. Nah, I don't really care, dude. If I double click, it should come up here, but okay. Uh, no, I want to actually fix that shit. Um, right click, open file location. Yeah, I was right, it isn't bin. So we do properties, change, go all the way to the bottom. And then it should be Maya, there we go, apply, okay, there we go, now that's good, um, can delete that one, okay, so, with your, um, map model in your Black Ops 3 uh, model export uh, di directory, minimize that, open up Ape, which I already have, we're gonna do new GDT, and what I always do is I go into my model export folder and go into transit and name this uh, SG4Y transit map. Okay, right click on your new created GDT, hit new asset, make sure it's an X model, make sure your GDT file is selected, and I'm going to name this SG4Y transit map. Okay, and then we have this ugly block. In lot zero, hit the three dots. Go to your model. Zombies, transit, and hit or open the transit map, xmodel.bin, open, and give it a little bit of time. Um, just, just a little bit. It's gonna say not responding. Don't click, don't do anything, let it load because it's just trying to uh, do all sort of things at once. So let it load. And boom, as, as soon as you see the materials here, that means we're good. Click on this button. So it will center the whole map. Now it is a, it's insanely large map though. Um, as you can see. Okay, so it is actually big though. What the hell? Okay, it's huge. So what you can do is ground grass. You can 
export those or create your own or what I always do is just when you see ground grass I know it's a grass texture I just hit grass and I do grass mod for example and I hit enter go to the next one you know and as soon as you do that we start to see a few you see textures over here and then we have another grass uh grass mid holy what so you can uh obviously that is not how it should be there this is how it should be um road cracks so we do road cracks and we can see road cracks all right next one if it shows the uh, triangle here don't worry about it and then we have another one road uh, maybe we see something that's pretty cool eh it's gonna do road same one okay glow fire let's do glow glow red should work just fine and these are now uh, well maybe if i do red color red or if there's something you don't want like for example those are glowing red fire things if you can't find fire okay uh kind of works well if, if there's a model or section of the method you don't like what you can do is hit global inv and you see global invincible click on that and it makes it invincible brick wall brick um boom uh, something happened over there where is it so something happened oh uh, these ones i think yeah okay so we're gonna do brick and um brick light yeah yeah it looks quite good mm, that sh may or may not work and then we have brick wall crumbly so we do again brick and then we do um so let's see um these ones should work it's a bit messy bricks yeah you see a bit messy and then shadow don't think we have a shadow call shadow we have call shadow yeah okay that's cool and you just go on like that or you can export the things yourself uh, but what I do is make sure you give everything a texture otherwise you cannot see that in uh, radiant so it says here uh what's that c e r m -ic floor sure okay uh c e r m -ic floor uh grace good lynn O L O O L. Uh, what color is it? Old blue. Blue. 
concrete base dark and stuff like that and that's how you can make your map looking good um, let's see how many materials do we have we have quite a few materials <laughs> fucking hell so basically let's say you did all of that hit Control s to save it boom like so and go ahead and open up um, radiant so your map and again you can make your own materials or you can just uh, overwrite the materials with an already existing material in black Ops 3 mantles that's what i prefer now what you also can do is just give everything a wood texture uh, because then you can see it clearly in uh, radiant and um, it's easy for you when building uh, your your map and stuff so first things first uh, what I want to do is I'm gonna go ahead and get my Sun and change this from night to day to the vault day there we go let's go ahead and build the lights like so hit f9 so we're in game view okay now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit m for uh, for model and we're gonna type in transit okay make sure that's selected misc model double click on the model and here you go holy shit that's quite huge now this is how transit will look like look at this you have the brick walls you have the freaking insanely detailed buildings and everything even the lava look at the fucking lava dude wow now again there are uh, different ways or methods uh, for you know doing this for example is this a door looks like oh wait where is the entry then uh, I can't really see I'm just gonna try to come on get over here yeah so that's why I uh, told you guys to you know um, to get your things now I also lost where my actual map is so here we have something else. This is a bus. What the crap? Or am I just... Oh no wait, there's nothing to it. Sorry, my bad. It looked like a bus actually. Okay, let's keep going. There are some holes in the ground. Dude, nothing... I mean, not nothing to it. Transit is quite a huge map though. Now, where is my actual map? I lost my actual map. Oh, I see. It is over here. Now, what I'm just going to do is... I'm just going to go ahead and make this cover the whole entire map. Wow, that looks so shit. Build the lights real quick. There we go. yeah it's still too dark it's still black but if you apply any textures to it it will work and be just fine now this is the map guys now keep in mind you can still walk through the model you can still walk or fall beneath the model as soon as you try to you know what the hell is this oh that's the 
Oh, smart move. Okay, that, that looks so cool. But yeah, as soon as you try to walk over on the ground and stuff, uh, it will not work because, you know, um, uh, because you, it's it's not an actual model. Well, it's a model and therefore you fell beneath the ground. And is it a church or something, isn't it? Looks pretty cool. That is how you port the models. Now what you can do is you can do things like that. That's way too big. That's what she said. And there. And go to top view. Go ahead and just make this that get a texture clip and now your zombies and your players will not be able to uh, fall through the ground in here so yeah that's pretty much it though that's easy as that now let's go ahead and do a different one um let's go and do a different one um let's see open up maya hit file new scene go into uh, zombies maps die rise obj let's take a look at die rise <clears throat> this one should not take that long to load but we'll see oh, okay nice now again we can't really zoom all the way out uh, perspective camera a couple of mines here and boom we should be good to go again no fucking that's so weird huh okay the map this one isn't that big of a map can go ahead and delete those but not that one I think the last one was also used somewhere if I'm correct oh no okay can go ahead and delete those now this is insanely detailed map um don't know what that area is maybe that's not playable area but this is a playable area as you can see now the model is not here but all, all the rest you know everything else is here so wait i wonder now what about the elevators Oh, okay, nice. The elevators are open. It makes sense. The elevator is also a model, so it did not get the model. But you can export that using Wraith or whatever. But yeah, that's... Uh, yeah, this is that rise. So what I always do... I go into a view... Uh, like so boom hit the first one and then hold shift click on the last one hit mesh combine and we are also going to do a new GDT and name this zombies maps die rise we're gonna do sg4y die rise and do new assets sg4y die rise map boom like so let this one combine there and then we are going to do call duty tools export x model and we're going to save it to our desktop for now sg4y die rise map 
hit enter export selected that the current scene is not saved continue no wait let me actually save it though save scene as um sg4y die oh, whoops die rise mm -hmm. export export selected no let that one do its thing um so we need that one let me also go ahead and quickly check if i have kino uh i have kino interesting so let's actually go ahead and make new gdt real quick zombies maps kino their tone sg4y kino whoa, whoops kino their tone new gdt or new asset actually sg4y kino their whoops totem and uh, some maps will not work because i know that the kino the totem will not work um maps zombies maps kino i don't think it's gonna work but it may it may not work and by the looks of it nope it doesn't work i don't know why right i don't know why it doesn't work but it's, it's i don't know uh, what i've noticed is that a uh, kino the tone and call of that does not work for example i can go ahead and load up call of that oh yep you see it will not work for some odd reasons so yeah okay but that rise should work did it before and the rest uh, but let's say you seriously want to the token. What you can do is export a World of War custom map and look for Kino the token and export that one. That will work. Uh, but for Black Ops 3 custom maps, you cannot do that. So this one is saved. What we're going to do is select it, cut it, and we're going to go into Zombies Maps, Die Rise, paste it over there, go into Ape and open up our die rise map and die rise and this one should work because i did this one before now i want to show you some uh, some different things as well so click on this here we go the full actual map now let's say right uh, I'm just going to go ahead and control S to save it. Now, I have Nacht der Toten. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Uh, Radiant, there we go. So over here, I have Nacht der Toten. There we go. Let me right click, misc model. Yeah, not. I just gave everything a wood texture so I can see it better. Here we go. This is Nachter and Tone, as you can tell. The full map, just a simple wood texture. I can obviously change this later on, uh, which I will. Oh, this one has a little thingy. Okay, no problem. I can uh, fix that um yeah nothing tone now what you want to do is let's say you have your uh textures in here right like your actual textures you want you got all the materials you need everything is in here ready to go it's about the light actually so what you want to do then is click on the model hit n for nuggets Ooh. And make sure it's at zero, 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 right? Okay. And then deselect it or actually hit control. Yeah, it doesn't really matter if it's zero, zero, zero. What you want to do is um, you want to open your dot map. 
Um, zombies maps. Oh, whoops, that, that's Nuketown, Nachturntown. Um, Nachturntown dot map. This is what we need. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and control C to copy it and control V to paste it. Now you can hit spacebar, but what it does is it moves the model slightly away from the actual copy or the original model. If you do control C, control V, it's gonna keep it in the exact same position. With that said, what you then want to do is you want to keep that selected, right? You want to do uh, open. Would you like to save? No. If you're gonna go into desktop, or wait, maybe we can just simply drag it. Ah, shit. Okay. Um, let me copy that. Go into Black Ops 3, Map Source, ZM. Just gonna do new folder, maps. Just gonna paste it in there. Okay. With that selected, right? Uh, we're gonna do open. Hit no. ZM maps and lightning change. Do you want to export? No. Copy the current selection. Yes. And boom. What this did is it simply. Did I do nothing to no transit? Okay. So what this do, uh, do is it moved the selection, right? Out, or you you can also do it with the original one but if you do it like this it will have a new map and you can see all these blocks here you can select those blocks individually right and it's gonna say here model rubber static whatever copy that and then hit M and then Paste it, go to all. And we have here some static stuff. Um, but I think it was a lantern or a pole. Just do whatever looks good to you, whatever fits. So I did this one. Okay. That may not be it, um, but we're gonna keep it. Why not? What is this? This is that's a, oh, that's a crate. Oh shit! Hold on. Control Z. It's rubble. Oh. So if you do rubble. Uh huh. So that's some rubbles. Okay. There we go. Uh, so that's probably a mountain kind of thing. Okay. Now what are you? This one is light cage light. Hit M for model cage. There's a cage light right over here. This one is crate, a Berlin crate. So we can do Berlin, nope, crate, and just do whatever fits you the best. Um, I had a uh, this little box. Where is it? There, Nazi symbol. Quite nice. Uh, what you also can do is if you select it right and you know your model for example I this model right here copy the name control C and then hit control Z right and hit the remap class and open up your oh Wait, what? What do I need to do? 
I want to remap class, come on. There was a way to do all of that in once, like all the same models, but mm, I don't remember how I did that. Anyways, so and then we're gonna do just as an example, by the way. Okay, this is just an example. What is this? Sandbag. So model sandbag, and I don't know. Let's do this one. Yay. And I'm pretty sure you can go ahead and rotate this, yeah. And then you can say, I don't want you there, I want you here. You know? Stuff like that. Um, but yeah, it got the exact position of the uh, models here. Uh, blasted, whatever. Oh, okay. That one is quite cool. So if we hit M, let me do this. And let's do a little of that. <laughs> this is getting crazy, dude. Okay, select those, select that, select a few models here. And there you go. You can make a whole beach. Let's build the sun. Hey. Where is my sun? Oh wait, that's right, I don't have a sun. Um Where's my sun volume? No, I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly build this so you can get an idea of how it will look like later. Okay. All right. And then I hit the end. It's gonna be a default day. Cool. I'm gonna build the lights. And there you go. Is it animated? You can also get uh, animation if you do mm, weather. Hmm. There you go, weather grime. And then you can cover your whole map with that. Cool. And then uh, play some animation stuff. I don't know. But yeah, that is pretty much it. This is how you can remaster your maps. Now, it ha the whole map, Northern Tone, has an ugly wood texture. Okay? Everywhere. And we have sand, or not sand, but uh, these palm trees over here. But even with those palm trees... You can get a glimpse or look at how this could be a beach themed Nachtern Tune. Like as of it's how it is right now, it is already looking seriously good. So maybe a upcoming map, I guess. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching this video. If I helped you out, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Uh, while I'm doing the outro, you know what I want to do? I want to go ahead and go into do one more thing. Um, where is it? Because I want to do uh, Newton Zombies. I have it saved as well though, so I can like go ahead and close this. Don't save and just oh i could have do uh anyways and then hit new turn on this one so close it and open it up again wow
My coffee looks cold. There we go. This, my friend, is Nuketown. Not too big of a map. But it looks goddamn hot. Ah, oh, that's the Maya thing. Okay. Alright, looks cool. Looks really, really good. Basically, we select... Oh, I think actually I did that. Yeah, okay, I already did that. So, Call of Duty, export, X model, save it to um, SG4Y, maps, zombies, maps, nuketown zombies. And we're going to do SG4Y, nuketown zombies, map. Export selected. Uh, save changes, no. Okay. So this one goes a bit faster. Um, because I was trying this yesterday and did not work. But I'm pretty sure I was trying to load the uh, model outside of the Black Ops 3 model export folder. Like I put it on my desktop and that was it. So I'm not really sure if I tried to put the uh, model into the model export folder and then opened up in ape uh, so that's why i want to do this real quick come on baby done nice minimize that go into ape uh we're gonna go into new gdt zombies maps nuketown zombies sg4y nuketown zombies Right click new assets, SG4Y, Nuketown, Zombies, PO2, map. Alright, large zero, SG4Y, maps, Zombies, maps, Nuketown, Zombies, and the X model. I'm not 100% sure if it's gonna work. Nope. Shit. It doesn't work. <sighs> Too good to be true. Oh well. A uh, very simple way to fix it, or not fix it. Uh, well, you, there is a fix. Go into World of War and install a new town, uh, a custom zombies that looks the closest it can get to the actual map you want. Export that. Okay, so a quick way to delete those. I just do Control S. Okay. Close it. And I know that Neutron Zombies does not work, so I'm just going to do delete and delete. And then I do the same thing in Kino the Tone. I do um, delete and delete. Now, I would say keep the .map file because, you know, the models and stuff, exact locations. Um, which one did not work either? Oh, no, oh, that's it, right? Yeah, cool. Okay, did I do Frucked? Yeah, okay, nice. So I will be releasing this stuff once I'm done doing pretty much a lot of other <laughs> other zombies uh, maps. And I'm, I'm going to probably uh, go through them one by one, like add those materials and stuff into them. Now, before I let you go, if there is someone that knows on how to uh, add an auto uh, a automatic clip to a model uh, without me adding a clip to the model itself in Radiant, if there's a way to do that, because I know that there's a way to enable uh, uh, the the model to check if it's getting damaged. Now, if you if you can do something like that for the model. Uh, where the player cannot walk uh, through it or over it or whatever. If there's something like that, please let me know. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Hopefully I did help you out. It's, it, it, it has been a long video. How long am I recording? It doesn't really tell me. Anyways, 
too long video i'm not gonna uh, i'm not gonna go ahead and fucking edit this i'm not stupid i'm just gonna straightly upload this to youtube and uh hopefully it's helpful for you guys if there's any other questions let me know with a comment down below hit me up uh through twitter or discord and stuff like that or simply you know, leave a comment down below it always helps uh, if you're new go ahead and subscribe i will upload more t tutorial uh, videos for you guys and um yeah again i may sound crappy quality that's because i'm using um geforce experience instead of obs but yeah hopefully it's okay and acceptable thanks for watching get you in the next one peace